Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. So now you have your dashboard and you want to have a button to make it easier for your users to download the data. So on the left hand side under objects, there's a button or object called download. We're going to bring it over, just going to drop it under this filter section. And now there's your download button. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to edit the button. I want to change it. There's a couple of different options you have here. First thing I'm actually going to do is you've got here, you can change it to an image or a text. I'm going to leave it as a text. I'm going to type in the title, export data, and I want to change the background. I'm just going to change it real, let's see here. I'm going to go, this is what I've used before, change the background, and uh, hit OK. If you change the edit button to something like cross tab, which I use, is what I usually do, You'll notice that it grays out. This is to this is to let you know that you can't use this button unless you're up on if you've already published it. So what I'm going to do I'm going to actually publish it so that you can see what that looks like. The same thing actually goes for if you have borders. Let's change it. Come in here. Let's change the border to something a little dark, just so it gives it a little definition. You can see there's no borders. I'm going to actually publish it. So now once it is published, you can see that it's got the shading, it has the border. And then you can hover, you can see the download for data. And you will change the font later. So come in here. Now there's three different options for what you can have. Cross tab, that's going to give you the data in Excel. The other option are image, PDF, and PowerPoint. If you select PowerPoint and export to PowerPoint, your, your export is going to look something like this. It's going to have the name of the title, the date of the workbook, and then it's going to have an image for that page. The other option you have is PDF. And if you select PDF, when you apply it, when you actually click on it, it'll give you another bunch of options. You want the entire workbook, active sheet, view it, whatever. Active sheet looks much like the PowerPoint presentation we had. I'm going to show you what the entire workbook looks like. And I want you to pay attention to this chart here. You know how it trails way out? These are in full pages. Let me see if I can make it down, narrow it a little bit so you can see the full page. So this is what happens when you export the entire file. So here's a little bar chart, and we've got several pages of this because it's trying to fit the entire data chart. So I don't know what your need will be, but I don't envision that this would be very helpful. To, this was the entire workbook, so there will be worksheets in here that you may not want published but it's going to export all of them. So we're going to stay with Excel. Let's go back to where it was published. And now when you hit export data, if you've come in here and you've highlighted items, whatever bar, and as you know, anything that you've got selected, it's going to pull this chart up here and say, okay, you want to do the Pareto. Well, uh, you don't really, you really want to do this state data table, but depends on where you're, which last thing that you've clicked on, it's going to give you the last item that you clicked on or where your where your cursor is at. Uh, you run into the same problem if you use this download feature here. This is where I've done this a lot, but you may have some users that need a little bit more handholding, may need it a little more explicit, or you may have this embedded in a web page that doesn't have this top banner. So this is where the export data come in handy. The way to kind of get around that is to come here and I'm just going to rename this data table and call it instead of state data table, I'm just going to call it data table. 
And you'll notice that there's no title here, so that doesn't really impact the visual. Now, if there was, uh, I had already retitled this, but I mean, if you come in here, you can put whatever title you want. Obviously, the title doesn't have to be the same as the worksheet. And so then when we publish it again, we'll just come in actually here and we're gonna check change the font. So it looks a little more consistent with the, the buttons next to it. And so now when I export the data, it always shows the data tables to the far left. You may have selected something else in here. We'll do that real quick. Export the data. The data table is on the far left and you can just tell people, hey, look for data table on the far left. I wish there was a way to, maybe Tableau can do that in the future, make a default uh, download. That would be awesome. And then when you hit download, pull it open, and there's your data, just like you would use it any, normally. One last bit of advice, if your chart has units of measure, if these were shown in thousands, it will come over with, with the K, so these will not be numbers. So on your chart, you do need to make them whole numbers so that you can add and subtract them. So if you have numbers that have millions, like I said, thousands, other units, when you export it, that letter comes over with it. Just to be aware, if you have any other tips for using the export function, export data function or object, please let me know. I'd love to hear what you've learned. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.